Welcome back to the Microsoft series. So in case if you have not registered yourself for the Microsoft in 29 days series self paced course. So you can find the course link in the description of this video and after you have registered for this course then if you click on the start course button so you will get access to all the days like let's say if I have day 7. So if I click on this day so I'll get access to both the recorded videos of the day 7 and apart from this like you can see here I'm getting the access and apart from this I will get the access to each and every problem like basically five problems are there two problems that we do in the lectures and three practice problems so you can get access to all the problems and you can see their difficulty level the accuracy and the company tags so this can help you to improve while you are practicing now let us discuss this problem that is check if the link list is palindrome or not so in this problem you will be given a link list and you have to tell whether the given link list is palindrome or not let's say 1 2 and 1 has been given so in this case we can say that 1 2 1 is actually palindrome because what is a palindrome a palindrome is something that treats the same from the left to right and right to left so if i see from left to right so it reads as 1 to 1 if i see from right to left it also reads as 1 to 1 so that is why it is palindrome if i talk about let's say a link list like 1 2 and 3 so in this case from left to right it reads as 1 2 3 and from right to left it reads as 3 2 and 1 so in this case we can say that it is not palindrome so if i talk about this thing so like can we determine like let's say we have uh, something like madam okay we have a string that is there so we we are developing the logic for palindrome so what we can say is if we put one pointer here in the string and one pointer here in the string and then we check if they are same then we move i here and we move a j here okay then we check for this and this right similarly if i give you an array suppose that i give you an array like the array could have let's say five elements like this suppose the array is like one two and three then two and one so what we could do is uh, same as we do in the string we can have one pointer here one pointer here we can check if they are the same right i will start from zero j will start from n minus one if they are the same then i moves forward and j moves uh, backwards right j moves one step back if i and j are same again then I check for i and j again okay and the moment i and j crosses and I have never uh, returned a false that is I have never seen a value such that a of i is not equal to a of j in that case I return a true okay if a of i is not equal to a of j in that case I immediately return a false otherwise if I, if i and j cross each other and I have never returned of uh, I have never returned a uh, false uh, in that case I return a true indicating that the link list is spelling true can we apply the same logic here yes so what we can say is like whatever uh, link list has been given to us we can basically say that we can store it inside uh, inside the array we can store all the elements one by one inside the array and once you have once we have stored all the elements inside an array so we can do what we can try and check if the array is palindrome or not one pointer here one pointer here i and j and then you keep on moving backward and forward let's as i mentioned if you have one two three uh two and one so we will we can store this thing in an array like one then two then three then two and then one we can store it and one pointer we can keep here i and another pointer we can keep here j and we can check if they are the same so you move your i forward and j one step back if they are the same you move your i forward and j one step back now if they are the same again so you move i forward and j backward so in this case they cross each other and i have never returned a false so i'll return a true that is what i can do now there could be another approach for solving it another approach that we can think of is the left to right and the right to left approach so if we see here like one two and one is there so as I mentioned, if I if I iterate from the left side, okay, left to right, then I can get it. So similarly, what I can do is if this link list is there, so I can think of reversing this original link list. And what will happen in that case, like one pointer will stand here. So this guy and this guy is the same. Then I move to this node and this node, right? Basically, I move to the next nodes. I can see that this two and this two is also the same. So now my pointer moves to this node and this node correspondingly. So one and one are the same. Now they now they both reach null. So I can say that I have never returned a false that means I will return a true because the link list is palindromic in nature. So in this case what I am doing is I am having this link list, uh, original link list and I am creating a creating a copy and then reversing the link list and I am checking that whether they are the same or not whether the uh, link list reads the same from left to right and right to left or not that is the concept. Now another thing that I could do here is I can use a better concept than this. So what I can say is let's say if there is a 1 then there is a 2 then there is a 3 then there is a uh, let's say 2 and then 1 so what i can think of doing is i can reverse the link list i know how to find the middle of the link list right i know how to find the middle of the link list so what i can do is once i find the middle of the link list so from that i can reverse the link list so basically if this link list is there so now the reverse link list would look something like this 1 2 and 3 
then it will be like uh, two and one this will get reversed and now three will start pointing to null so i i'm i'm, assu I'm assuming that you know how you can reverse a linked list basically if i give you this pointer and i ask you to reverse a linked list let's say i give you one two and three and i ask you to reverse it so it like that then one two three let's say was pointing to null so now in the actual now answer what will happen one two th like uh, three two and one will be there uh, in the reverse linked list and one will be pointing to null so that is why here three is pointing to null if i reverse it okay so that is what is going to happen now what i can say is like uh, if i reverse if i have reversed the linked list then my previous guy will stand here and my uh, current guy let's say this is the head it will stand here so i can check if the head and the previous are the same right after this part i can move my head to this and i can move my previous to this if they are the same i move forward then my head moves to this and my uh, previous moves to this so i'll say okay fine then what will happen uh, my head moves to two but my previous moves to null in that case what i can say is that if i have reached null if my previous reaches null and i've never returned a false so i'll return a true in this case that is what is going to happen here so let us uh, see for another case let's say when the link list size is uh, even in that case what will happen so like let's say it is one two three and then it is three and then two and then one so basically this will be the middle and i'll reverse this part so in this case what will happen if i reverse this so it will be something like this basically this is pointing to three and then uh, this two is there then this one okay and this three now points to none okay so now my uh, like i'm assuming that you know how to reverse a link list so this will be the previous and this will be what this will be my uh, head guy so if they are the same i move to this and i move to this they are the same i move my head to this okay i move my previous to this then what happens uh, like uh, basically if they are the same then what happens uh, my previous uh, like head moves to like head moves to this and previous moves to this then if they are the same then what happens my head moves to this three but my previous moves to null the moment my previous moves to null in that case i can say what i can say that my link list uh, has been traversed uh, like half of the link list the first half is equal to the second half and i can say that the link list is palindromic in nature so that is what i'll be implementing let us try and write the code for this approach so what i'll be doing here is first of all i'll be reversing the link list. like i'll be first of all finding the middle so we know as we know that how to find the middle so what uh, we can say is uh, we will have the uh, first of all we'll have the node declared so node star slow is equal to nothing but uh, the head of the link list first of all similarly i will have the fast pointer declared so fast is equal to nothing but the head and then i will iterate like until i find uh, until the fast is not equal to null like both the conditions should be satisfied so fast should not be null and the fast next should also not be equal to null okay fast should not, not be null and for fast next should not be null then then i'll keep on iterating and uh, as we know that for finding the middle so slow is equal to slows next okay slow moves by one and what happens fast so fast is equal to fast next next okay so fast uh, moves by two okay fast pointer moves by two so i'll uh, like in that case what will happen my slow will be pointing now to the middle element okay now i need to reverse it from the middle so i'll say that for for this what i require is i require the previous so initially i can mark the previous as null as we know how to reverse the linked list then i can have a current node so node star current current can point to the head of the linked list and after this part is done so i also require the next but i'll declare it later on so i'll say that while uh, the uh, while the current guy is not equal to null till then i'll try to reverse the linked list from the slow pointer so basically i can say that current is equal to the slow because i want to slow uh, I, I don't want to reverse the complete link list i only want to reverse it from the middle part okay so here what i can say is i will have a node star uh, the next node i'll ha i'll have the next node access to the next node because if i change the current dot next uh, if my current dot next points to the previous i don't want to lose uh, the current dot next actual current dot next access i can say that uh, node star next node is equal to current dot next right current next and then i can say that current uh, next gets updated to the previous guy that is basically we are updating the link list then i will say that previous is equal to what uh, like uh, i need to update so previous will be equal to the uh, current then what happens the current uh, is gets updated to the next node here. okay that is what will happen here and after we have uh, reversed the link list from the middle so you can say that previous will be standing at the back and head will be standing there so we can say that while the previous is not equal to null till then we can keep on iterating and what we can say here is we can say that if uh, like if it happens that uh, the previous is uh, previous data the uh, previous data like from the back if the data is not equal to the uh, not equal to the head data okay if it's not equal to the head data in that case we can simply return a false indicating that the linked list is not palindrome otherwise if it is palindrome right if it is palindrome 
in that case what like if this if this part is palindrome right if if the previous data and the current data current previous data and current head data is the same then i'll move my head uh, head is equal to head dot next so head will move by one node towards the front side and previous will move uh, previous will also move so basically previous is the the second half so it will also move to the next so previous is equal to previous dot next and in that case if i have never returned a false uh, after uh, suppose i my previous reach is null and i have never returned a false so that means that the linked list is palindrome and i'll return a true let us try and compile this to see if there is any error in the code Okay, it seems to work on the samples. Let us try and submit this code as well. So you can see that our solution works for this case. Now, talking about the time complexity of this approach. So the time complexity of this approach would be nothing but it would be order of n by 2 for first of all finding the middle of the linked list, right? This is for finding the mid. Then again, order of n by 2 for uh, doing the reverse of the linked list. Then it would be again order of n by 2 for doing what? Uh, this again order of n by 2 for checking, right? For checking. And suppose that the interviewer tells you that you have to, like you have to restore the link list. You cannot manipulate the link list, right? You, you have to return, like your link list should not get distorted. So in that case, if you want to restore the link list, then again, you will iterate through half of the, uh, like from the mid, you will again reverse the link list. So in that case, you like, you will again take order of n by two sign. So overall, it will be order of n only. Okay. And the space complexity will be order of one because we are not using any extra space. Thank you. Let us discuss the problem finding middle element in a linked list. So in this problem, we will be given a linked list which will have n nodes and the task is to find the middle element of the linked list. This is a very popular question. Like if you have been given a linked list like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, so the mid middle element will be 3. Like let's say 1, then 2, then 3 and then 4 and then 5 have been, has been given. So in this case, the middle element will be nothing but 3, right? So let us discuss the case for even length linked list. So when it has even number of nodes, so let's say the number of uh, nodes is even. So we can consider like 1, 2, then 3, then let's say we have 4, we have 5 and we have 6. So in this case, you can see that there will be two candidates for the middle. Either 3 can be the middle or 4 can be the middle. But in this problem, it says that uh, like if there are two nodes, right? If there are two middle nodes, then you have to return what? You have to return the second middle node. So in this case, when the linked list is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so you have to, we have to return the second uh, middle node that is nothing but 4. So in this case, whenever there are two middle nodes, so in case of even linked list, you have to return the second middle node. That is important. So one of the ways that we can do this particular problem is what we can do is we can find the length of the linked list. So length will be what? Here we can see that the length will be 5. Here we can see that the length will be 6. Then what we can, what we can try and do is we can try to run. We can try to, we can basically say that we'll be, we'll, we can keep a current at the head of the linked list and we can iterate for n by 2 times. Right, you can see. If you see n is equal to 5, so if we iterate for n by 2 number of times, that is nothing but if 5 is given, so 5 by 2 is nothing but 2. So if we move 2 times, so first time current moves here, then the second time current moves here. So we can observe that we will be able to reach the middle node. And in this case, if we see when n is equal to 6, so when we do n by 2, so we get what? We get nothing but uh, 3. So in this case, if we start a current from the head, so current moves one time, then current moves second time, and then current moves third time. So we can observe easily that we are able to reach the middle node of the linked list, okay? In three, in three moves, that is n by two moves, right? So in this case, we can do it. But in this case, what is happening? First of all, we are uh, running order of n time for finding the length of the linked list. Then we are running, then we are running half of the linked list, like order of n by two, uh, for for getting at the middle element. So this means that we are doing two traversals. So can we do it in a better fashion? Yes, we can use the fast and slow pointer method for achieving this. So what will be the approach? So in this case. Let us say that we have been given the same linked list like 1, then 2, then 3, and then 4, 5. Basically an odd le length linked list and suppose it points to null. So what we will do is we will have a fast pointer and a slow pointer. We will have a fast and the slow pointer. Initially both will be standing at 1. Then what will happen? Fast will move by 2 nodes and slow will move by 1 node. So slow moves to 2, then fast moves to 3. Basically slow moves here and fast moves here. Okay. Then what will happen? Uh, fast, fast will move to 5. Okay. So fast moves to 5 from 3 and slow moves to 3. Now in this case you can observe that I can, like my fast cannot move any further. My fast cannot take two steps from here because the fast dot next if the fast dot next is null then the fast dot next dot next is not available here. Right. So in this case you can see that we have reached the middle of the linked list. But what is the concept? The concept is that suppose that there is a there is a running track. Okay. You can take it as an example. Suppose there is a running track and on that running track two people are running one person is running at the speed twice of the other so this person is running let's say as 2x speed 
and the first person is running at the speed 1x. So by the time the faster person finishes the race, by the time the faster person reaches the end of the track or the link list, then the slow person, the person who is slow, who is traveling at, at, at the speed half of the fast person, that person will reach the middle. That is the concept here. Now, if we try and observe it for the uh, for the odd length, uh, like even length link list, so let's say we have one, then two, then we have three, okay? Then we have four, then we have five, and suppose we have six, and then we have null, okay? So here we can see that uh, here we can see that whenever the fast uh, fast next is equal to null, right? Then we were terminating, okay? Now let's try and see here. So we will have a fast pointer. We will have a slow pointer. Fast is pointing one. Slow is pointing at one. Fast moves by two. So fast moves from one. It moves to three. Slow moves to two. Then what happens? Uh, slow moves to three. Okay. Slow moves by one. Fast moves by two. So fast moves to five. Then uh, slow moves by one. So slow moves to four. And fast moves to null. So that means now fast. Uh, like uh, I can see that uh, now what will happen? No. Basically I should say it like this. Slow moves uh, to two. Okay. One, from one it moves to two, then it moves to three, then it moves to four, and fast moves to null. And the moment the fast moves to null, then that is when I will stop because the fast has reached the end of the link list, and the slow is has reached only half way. That is the middle of the link list because, as we discussed in in case of the even length link list, we will return the second middle node, and that is where my slow is standing. So it will be if we have to return the data, then we can directly return, return the slow data. Okay, now in for doing this, we are taking order of n by two traversal. You can say order of n traversal overall, but basically we are uh, traversing only half uh, half of the link list. Okay, because uh, fast is like we are taking half time because we, what we are doing is fast is also jumping by two and slow reaches the middle. Right, so that is the case here. So let us try and implement the code for this particular logic. So we can see that this is the output for this case, like one, two, three, four, five. In this case, you can see that we are returning this node seven. So let us try and write the code. So we'll be given the head of the link list here and we have to implement the logic overall. So what we'll be doing here is we'll first of all have a node star uh, slow that will be pointing to the head of the link list. And after that, we will have what we'll have a node star fast. That is a fast node and it will be pointing at the head. Uh, the Java code and the Python code also remains the same. Now after this part, what we can do is we will say that while the fast is not equal to null because the fast should not be null. The moment the fast becomes null, then I can terminate and I can say that fast next, the next of the fast, the next pointer to the fast should also not be null because in that case also I am terminating. So if I, if either of the case becomes true, like if either fast becomes null or fast next becomes null, then I will terminate. So for me to run, to, uh, to keep on running the slow and the fast pointers, neither the fast should be null nor the fast next should be null. Okay. That is the case here. Now in this part. What we will uh, like uh, after this has been done. So what we will do here is we will say that slow is equal to slow dot next. Like slow is equal to slow next, and then fast will move by one as well. So what we will do is fast is equal to fast next. Okay, uh, fast next next. Basically, fast will move by two pointers. And after this, uh, what will happen is we can simply say that we will return nothing but the slow data because we have to return the data of the middle node that we are considering. So we'll simply return slow data and that will help us. Let us try and compile this to see if it works on the samples. Okay, it's giving the same output. Let us submit this problem as well. So you can see that our solution was able to pass all the test cases. So this is how we do this problem. Not talking about the practice problem. So the first practice problem that I'm giving is reverse a link list. It has been asked in a lot of companies. It's a very standard problem. But basically you will be given a link list and you have to reverse it this link list. Now why this problem is important because there's a follow up problem for this. That is reverse a link list in groups of K. So basically you will be given a value K and you have to reverse K nodes each. Right. Every time you have to reverse K nodes each. Like if you see in this problem. So if you have been given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and K is equal to 4. So you have to reverse first four nodes. Then you have to reverse the last four nodes as well. Okay. So that that is what you have to do this if you will not understand the reverse a link list problem then this problem becomes a little bit tough now talking about the next problem so next problem is nothing but intersection of uh, link intersection of a y shaped link list so basically you will be given a y shaped link list and what you have to do is you have to tell the intersection point of the link list so this is another problem thank you